What do you think about positive thinking? It's just so popular. So many people think about positive thinking, being more positive. Uh, there are so many more websites about positive thinking, how to positively think. Um, but I want to say something about this. And also because a lot of people tell me in my comments, like, wow, we love the way how you're positive all the time. I'm like, I'm not positive and I'm not trying to be positive, even though sometimes it comes out as positive. I'm trying to be real and I'm trying to be authentic. And I will tell you why positive thinking really suck. It sucks because whenever you come up with something positive, it's usually like a positive affirmation. So let's say you don't feel beautiful and you want to tell yourself, I'm beautiful. So it's a positive statement, right? I am beautiful. The problem with it is that everything that's positive has it's negative right on the other side. It's like a coin. You can't have the positive without the negative. Two sides on one coin. So every time you say, I'm beautiful, or any other positive statement, it comes with this unconscious anxiety that, what if I lose my beauty? What if something happens to me? What if I get fat and and get wrinkles and get, you know, ugly things on me. What happens? And we are not aware of this because positive thinking makes us feel good in a short term. And in, in, in a short term, when we think positive, like, wow, I'm beautiful, I'm amazing, I'm smart, I'm intelligent, it feels good. But it always comes with this subtle anxiety underneath. And beside, when we say positive things, it's nothing else than comparison. We are comparing. So when I say I'm beautiful, <laughs> I'm beautiful because I'm judging other people to be less beautiful than me. When I say I'm intelligent, I'm actually judging other people to be less intelligent than me. And who am I to say these things? And I know that we live in the world of positive and negatives. But then we also have a lot of anxiety around things and we ultimately don't feel worthy. Ultimately, we don't feel good enough. So what is the truth? <laughs> what is the authentic way to be? Um, well, the authentic way is to be in gratitude. You don't have to say that you're beautiful or intelligent because who cares? You are who you are. <laughs> and I am grateful. I am grateful for my hair, for my skin, for my body, for my eyes, for my nose, for my lips. I'm grateful for my brain. I am grateful for my life. I'm grateful for my heart. I am grateful for everything. And that is the truth.